This time when we're looking at it, we still want to add rational expressions. But when I first look at this, I notice that one denominator's got a plus and the other denominator's got a minus. So that leads me to believe I'm going to need to find a least common multiple um, for my denominator. And so in order to do that, let's go ahead and find out what x can't be. So we know looking at each one of them, x cannot be a plus or a minus 1. That would give us that 0 in the denominator. And so the easiest way to think about finding the common denominator is that you want one of each thing that looks different on the bottom. So I've got an x plus 1 in the first term, and I've got an x minus 1 in the second term. So that's going to be my common denominator. So I'm going to write that out first for both of them. Now, when I need to, I've got the 2, so now what's missing from the top one that I have in the bottom one? I don't have the x minus 1, so that's what I'm going to multiply by. And do the same thing for the second one, except this time I'm missing the x plus 1. So what I want to do is I want to simplify the numerator. So that means I'm multiplying through. And then I'm going to write down the denominator. So remember, that's not going to change. We're just putting everything together. And that's actually going to be a minus sign. Sorry about that. So now 5 and 2 is 7. Now 5 minus 2 is positive 3 over x plus 1, x minus 1. And then x cannot be plus or minus 1. 